you are a new manager or supervisor and your boss assigns team resource management to you. What the hell? They want me to show capacity, availability, workload? What am I supposed to do, let alone manage or build this request? At some point in our careers as managers or supervisors, we are asked to manage our team's workload. We may respond internally, I'm not a resource manager. Isn't that why we have a resource manager? As a manager, part of our training and nurturing our direct reports also come with the understanding of capacity and demand regarding your team and individual team members. When such requests come across your desk, usually there is a need for more future work, efficiency needed for team and individual workloads, assessing new business changes and sizing. Fancy schmancy terms resource managers use are capacity, think size, demand, think need. Keeping it simple, at the team manager level, you want to look at your team size, hours work for the week, skill sets and experience, current workload, business requirements, which includes project details, time estimates to complete tasks, start and due date. Knowing all of this will help you determine availability. Who is the most available asset at any given time? What and how many projects are forecasted for inbound? What projects can your team take on? And what projects may face roadblocks with timelines and any overlap? Okay, great. Knowing all of this, now we can head over to ClickUp and build our resource management environment. Knowing your team's data now needs to be stored properly. No, not on a piece of paper on your desk, but within a tool that will be one, easy on the eyes, two, easy to document information, and three, displays accuracy on workload. ClickUp can do that for you. In ClickUp, there is a learning curve as with any new tool, but once you're in ClickUp, nurture your environment as a manager this way you can easily track and manage the workload for your team. First, we need to learn how to manage workload in ClickUp. Keep in mind, ClickUp is hierarchy orientated. Think foundation, house, put a family in there, in this very order. The foundation of your team, it depends on how the workflows involving work or projects your team works on. This may look like space level, folder level, list, and then the tasks that are within that list. Your ClickUp hierarchy may change as your organization grows, changes processes, or the structure of teams within your organization. Don't skip any steps here. Everyone loves to put a house on just about any surface, but the foundation here is vital and how strong your house will stand. Now that we have the foundation laid out, let's put our house on. This house, or in this situation, your team, may contain project requirements. This would be your task and custom fields, key performance indicators, project process and workflow. Think roadmap. How and where does the project start? How long do we have to get this project done? How long will each task take a team member? When it starts, what are we doing next? As we're working on this project, what data is required? What helps us be more productive when working on projects as a team? What does the end result look like? How do we get there? When we complete a project, now what? Now that our foundation and our home is built, let's put a family in there. In this case, a team. Each task requires an assignee, a start date, a due date, 
and a time estimate. When you think of time estimate, think how long it usually takes to complete this one task. General time estimate. When you have tasks that also have subtasks, these subtask time estimates will roll up to its parent task, as you can see right here. Once you have each task with those requirements, again, a assignee, start date, due date, time estimate, you can now go ahead and build your workload view. In this view, I have both projects Moana and Maui pulling in a workload view for me um, with a duration of one week, two weeks, or a month, preference here. The workload view shows you a day-by-day -day visualization of how much each person has been assigned a task during a period of time and compares it with their capacity. This lets you immediately see who is overburdened and to reallocate to those showing unused capacity. In the workload view, we want to set a few things. Take a look at Jason. This is where you can edit the capacity, daily capacity or weekly capacity for each of your team members. You can also see here that this shows Vanessa's capacity, what work is being done, which you can see here with the dark green. And then with the lighter green, you can see how available she is throughout the day for this specific day. But you can also see below the task that she is working on, on those specific days. Keep in mind, weekly capacity is set evenly across Monday through Friday, freeing the weekends. Users on our Business Plus and Enterprise plans can also elect to customize capacity per day. Include setting different days as weekend with no capacity. As a manager, you have the ability to take a look at capacity for a week out, two weeks out, or a month. You can toggle on here to switch through the dates based off of your preference. Now, some managers may be just okay of stopping here. I can see the difference between the green. I can see who is the most available to take on a task at any given time frame. Once you are familiar with how the workload view is set up, now you can go into customization. Customization within the workload settings allows you to see time estimates by task or with points if this is an agile workflow. You can also use your filter to filter specific data attributes specific to your team and also group by status, assignee, priority, or tags, or a custom field. A good tip to note here is if you take a look at your sidebar right here, you'll see that there are some tasks with no estimates. Keep in mind, if there are tasks with no time estimates, they will not populate in your workload view. Additional customization would include in your show button right here, you can color tasks by a status or a custom field. You can hide your weekend. You can show subtasks or close tasks. Plenty of personalization here based off of what you would like to see when it comes to the workload of your team. All right, that's it. Our recipe here for a workload view to manage your team capacity is foundation, house, and then putting a family in there to populate our workload view. Keep in mind that resources and business requirements change often. And with that, an adjustment may be needed in your hierarchy setup, which may affect how you manage your team and workload. Resource management isn't just knowing your team and what they are doing at any given time. It is the principle of effectively moving and using resources to align with your business needs.